Hey guys, welcome back to another video on C Sharp Collection series. This will be a short video again where we will see the difference between array and list and also we will delve a little inside and see how does this works under the hood. So let's get started. So the main difference between array and list is array cannot be resized once created but list can be resized as and when required. Let's take an example and understand. Let's say you have this XML. It contains all the weekdays of a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Say you have to read these weekdays and store it in an array. That's fine. We can do that. Let's do it. So, I am using X document here. It loads the given XML, goes to each name element in that XML and then read its value. And finally convert that to array and store it in our local variable named array weekdays. So how many weekdays are there in the XML? It's 5, right? So what will be the size of the array? It will be 5. We have discussed this in detail in our video on array. If you want to know more about array declaration, then I would recommend you to watch that. You can find the playlist in the description. Now this can be declared even like this. Both are same, but for now, let's keep it like this. At least we will have a line of code less. Let's print the content of our array. Let's run it. So we get all the weekdays. Now let's say after reading from XML, you do something here. And then you have to add weekends as well to the array. That's Saturday and Sunday. Can you do this in the same array? Actually not. As mentioned in the beginning, arrays cannot be resized once created. If at all you have to add it to an array only, in that case you have to create a separate array of bigger size, copy the existing array elements to it and then add the new data. Let's see that. Let's declare an array of size 7. Let's use our array class to copy existing array's data to new array. Array dot copy our source array, then destination array, and the number of elements to copy. Now with this, our new array will contain all the 5 weekdays. Now let's add Saturday and Sunday. Let's print the new array. Let's put a breakpoint and debug. So you can see the new array size is 7. And all the 5 weekdays have been copied to this new array and the index 5 and 6 are available but no data. Here we add Saturday and then Sunday. Let's press F5. So we get all the days printed including Saturday and Sunday. But again, since the arrays cannot be resized dynamically, you have to do a lot of things here, right? In this case, at least we know that we have to add just two more items. So we have created the array of size 7. There may be number of scenarios when we do not know how many items we might need to add, right? So in such cases, array does not look to be a suitable solution in any way, right? But is there any alternative? Yes, definitely. That is where our C-sharp list comes really handy. And believe me, when it comes to collections, you will be most often using list. Let's do the same thing using list and see how easy it is. So let me declare a list of string and 
Let me get the same XML code. Only I will change it to list instead of to array. Let's debug this. See, we have all the five weekdays in our list. Let's print it. Let's press F5. So, it has printed it. Now, as mentioned earlier, you do something here, right? And now you have to add Saturday and Sunday. How do you do it? Do you need to copy it to a new list the way you have done for array? Definitely not. When it comes to list, we have ready-made method which can be used to add more elements to it. Let's do that. So our list dot add and just add Saturday and similarly Sunday. That's it. Let's run. See, all the seven days are displayed. I hope you have realized how easy it is to add elements to list. There are a lot many methods and properties in list which I will discuss in my upcoming videos. For now, let's quickly see how does this add method internally works. As you know, in array, when we do this, it allocates two space in the memory. And when we do this, it adds those two values in the already declared memory space. But if you want to add one more data, can you do this to the same array? As discussed, we cannot. Because the way the array is declared, it is highly possible that the memory block before and after could have been already taken by some other program. If at all you want to do this, then as you have seen earlier, you have to create a new array altogether. So this is a limitation of array. Now let's see how does list works. Actually, this add method internally uses an array. So when we do this, it allocates a default size of an array in heap. Something like this. Say internally the size of the array is 2. This is just for explaining the concept. Ideally, the initial size is much bigger than this. Now let's say we add one element to it. Let's add one more element. We can do this as we still have the space, right? But now, if we try to add one more element. Now looking at the diagram looks like it is not possible, right? But that's possible when it comes to list. Because internally, C -sharp creates a bigger array, copies all the elements of the existing array to it, and then add the new element. So it means add method first checks if the space is available, then takes a call to add or create a new array internally and then add. I kind of like this concept, so thought of sharing with you. Now, with all these discussions, you might have questions. When to use array and when to use list. If you know the data is fixed length and you want to micro-optimize for some very specific reason, then only you go for array. And for all other reasons, feel free to use list. List offers a lot more functionality than array. We will discuss all these in our upcoming videos. That's all for this video. I hope you understood the difference between list and array, its internal workings and when to use them. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and drop in your feedback comments for all the future videos on C Sharp and other technologies. Thanks.